Hi again. Um, I have created uh, a guide earlier on how to set up new stack for a multiple instance is brought. Um, I will tackle today the issue that I have when I first installed BlueStack, um, wherein it's asking me to enable virtualization. So basically, since this laptop is Lenovo, I had to or I did opt to uh, check the Lenovo support site for this one. So, yep, here's what uh, I did. Here, I changed it in BIOS using the steps listed below, okay? You can follow the instructions until to this point, which is number four. If you're planning to uh, enable virtualization for uh, BlueStacks, you, you do not need to enable Hyper-V which is uh, listed here in number five. If you accidentally enable this and installed the um, Hyper-V using these steps here from step five to step eight, uh, BlueStacks will fail to open because uh, according to the application, it will interfere with the uh, BlueStacks um, virtualization function. So in case you have followed the uh, steps below here, yeah. okay, and if your BlueStacks fails to open because of the Hyper-V um, issue, I would suggest following these instructions. Okay, so um, once you encounter the error in the uh, BlueStacks application where it's asking you to disable Hyper-V, um, it will uh, redirect you to this page. Okay, so in this page, basically, uh, it will ask you to uncheck the Hyper-V option right here in the Windows features and follow the steps here below, depending on your operating system version. But as what I have encountered, uh, even though I completed the steps listed here, it uh, still returned an error in which it's having issues running the BlueStacks application because of Hyper-V. Okay. One thing that I did to uh, circumvent or resolve this issue is I have disable the Hyper-V in the device manager. Okay. So you can just open the device manager using the start. Okay, the device manager. Okay, so Scroll down below under the system devices, you will see the Microsoft Hyper V virtualization infrastructure drivers. Okay, so all you need to do is disable this device and then let it uh, complete the configuration and then restart your machine. And your BlueStack application should run. Uh, normally, but uh, if you are still having issues with the performance of your BlueStacks application, I would suggest also changing the settings in the uh, BlueStacks application here. Okay, so let's just wait for this one to load. And um, I'm using a Lenovo X230 laptop, which is uh, pretty old, and the specs of this laptop is considered uh, medium, low to medium. So it's not really for gaming and uh, emulation. So this may take longer as, uh, as what it's stated here. Okay, so once the blue stack so window open, uh, 
just go to your settings then under your blue stack engine tab you can change your performance options to low and as per the notice here in the primary you may need to set it to 20 frames per second for multiple instance use so that's what I did here and fortunately I have uh, noticed that the application I was using is uh, running faster than uh, previously so it should work on your uh, uh, low stack laptop if you opt to use the blue stack application okay that's it for today and then uh, thank you for listening to this guide and have a great day